Hey y'all, it's me Amanda and today it's going to be a whip parade as well as talking about um, what my goals were last year, what did I actually meet, what I didn't manage to do, and then what my goals are for this year. So let's get started with the whip parade. This is going to be a short one. <laughs> um, I don't have that many whips. Seven or eight? Eight? Maybe? So first thing I'll mention is I do have a Hade. I haven't shown it in a while because I haven't worked on it. It's kind of a UFO at this point. Not like, I think I will get to it again someday, but it's going to be a long time. It's basically going to be like when I actually have a more sufficient amount of time to stitch. I only have about an hour and a half, maybe two hours on a really good day to stitch. So I feel like if I wanted to work on my hate, I'd need at least three hours a day fairly consistently, and it's going to be a long time before that happens. So let's get started. Let's start with my holiday ones. First I have one that is for my daughter, and you saw this recently. It's not exciting. It's an ornament. I'm going to have to flash the information above because I don't remember. And I don't have a lot done. There we go. It's just a cute little ornament. It's like a snow globe with angels and stuff on it. And I've only worked, I only worked on it for one day. So I will work on this again soonish. Won't be too long. Next one is Sleepy Hollow by the Creek, Cricket Collection. It was Cricket. And then this one is on 36 count. Edinburgh Linen. Um, the color is light Amsterdam blue from Silk Weaver. I got this beautiful long cut here. Beep, beep, beep. And that's the middle of it. Part of the bridge. Looks more like a weird tomb or like a tombstone, but okay. And yeah, I, I worked on that. This I will not be touching that again until October. And that'll probably take me a few years because it's it's a big one. All right. The next one is Celtic Summer by Lavender and Lace. This I've worked on for a couple of summers now. So the fabric, I know what it is. It's Summer Storm. Uh, also sick silk weaver. So most of my fabric is silk weaver because I, I go to the New Jersey retreats. So, oh, she's a gorgeous. There we go. That has some good progress. So I work on, oh, I'll just show her for now. Let me make sure she's, I hope you can actually see her. Isn't that beautiful? I'm just moving, working my way down. I love it. I love it so much. I work on her in July, like basically the month of July I work on her. Oh, and she, uh, she's on a 32 count fabric, so. All right, those are kind of separated because like I said, they're kind of like holiday um, themed ones. This one is called Nope by Allerton Embroidery on Etsy. This is for my niece and I've been working on this for a very long time and it is not big. It's just, it's on black and I just, I, I don't like stitching on it, but I do want to finish it for her. I don't know her very well, sadly, because um, she's uh, married into the family. Um, but she deserves to get something nice. So on this one, um, yeah, I just have to finish around here. I am going to be restitching the E because I'm, I made a mistake on it and it bothers me enough that I'm actually going to fix it. But I've decided I'll finish the flowers first and then I'll fix it. Um, I like, it'll be a little disappointing that way, but I don't know. I think right now if I ripped out that E, it would just like kill me because this thing has taken me so long. I only work it, on it for like three days at a time because that's about what I can stand. Next I have my by um, the DMC, wait, not DMC, Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. So I tried to focus on her, well, I'll tell you the story later. I've made a lot of mistakes in this one. It's rough. 
I, I don't know why. It's it's Ada. It's Ada. I don't I don't know why my brain can't handle this one. But this is what I got. An okay amount of the bottom half of her. Um, you can tell where I've had to frog. And I had to frog over here. I messed up and I fudged a lot of it. It's... Mm. I was gonna finish it and then I had I just couldn't take it anymore. I kept making mistakes. It was really frustrating. So it went to timeout. I'll finish her eventually. And then we've got Miss Mary Mac by Lottie Da. This is my newest one. It's on 30 suit 36 count uh, doubloon. <laughs> Forgot what needle miner I had on this one. All right. So I just worked on the border, which is boring, but you know, it, it's something that needs to get done. And I'm a save the best for last kind of a gal. So I like to try to do things like work on borders right away. And then the last thing I have, that's it, everybody. How many whips was that? There's like three and three, right? So six? That seems so low. I do owe myself a start, but I'm not, I'm going to probably not start till next year. Uh, next is the shadowing. So we'll talk about this in a second, but this is where I am. I have been working on this recently, so there's progress. Basically, I'm almost done with this middle section. I just have to do some more of the long rectangle roads and I have to finish some backstitch and then I finally can move to the next outer layer of it. And that's it, people. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> like, um, seven whips, basically. I owe myself a start, but I'm not going to start. I don't know if it'll be next year or what, but so... Let's talk about what my goals were last year, and I'll talk about my goals for this year. And I'll talk about what I managed. All right, so here's my bag of shame. I'm using air quotes because, like, I'm not actually ashamed. Like, sometimes you just, sometimes you just can't, right? So I'm not going to feel bad about it. So, I wanted to finish my ornament from last year. I did. It's this one. I wanted to finish um, my St. Paddy's Day piece, Lucky Duck. Oh, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. I was surprised. It was in another bag. Oh, Lottie. What a mess. Okay. There's Lucky Duck. Not Forgotten Farm, I believe. I wanted to finish Live Simply. That's with thy needle and thread, Gen Brenda Gervais. 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 Oh, I love that. That's on one over one. I'm showing these quickly because they've been on my channel before. And then I wanted to finish my X Files piece. I did. And then I wanted to finish my. That did not happen. No. Because my was, we had a disagreement. <laughs> so it is what it is. And then my extra finishes were my, my tree, my extra finish. I don't know why I didn't have this on the list. Maybe I was thinking next year or something. But my tree. And then my other, um, my other goal, I think, was to finish, sorry, let me stop this. I wanted to finish 10 pieces. I believe I finished eight. It's because I didn't do well on my ornaments this year. Um, I was not good about fully finishing. I think I fully finished one thing, which I'm not bringing up, <laughs> but... It was a Valentine's Day piece, so I gotta figure that out. Um, this year, 
I'm going to start counting. So this year, my goals are to finish Forest Snowfall, which I already have. I have an April Showers piece I'm hoping to finish. Um, and then I want to finish the ornaments I didn't do. And then I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish my other ornaments this year. Optimistically. Or... So eight finishes this year would be the optimistic. Realistically, I'm thinking it'll be more like six. Oh, and I want to finish Nope. It's going to be nine. Again, that's optimistic. And I do, um, I do need to finish Nope. I am so done with that piece. It's pretty close. The thing for this year, and I think I mentioned it in my last update, but I'll talk about it again, is I want to work on my Chatelaine. I plan on having it be my focus piece for the whole year, so it's going to get a lot of attention. And I don't expect to finish it in here. It's just too big. Interesting time for my husband to walk in. Just too big. Too big to finish, <laughs> Eric. Oh my goodness, whatever are you going to do? <laughs> I've lost my tea. Oh. Hey, tea, Long John's. Sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Is it just too big though? It's just too big to finish in a year. I'm sorry. <laughs> love you. Love you too. But I'm hoping to get some really good progress on it. I don't have any specific progress goals. I won't until I have a little bit more of an idea of like how long it's really going to take me. It's taken me quite a while just to finish this like middle section, so I'm not optimistic, but that's fine. Um, and then, I don't know, is there anything else I wanted to mention? Oh, the finishing. So I have my bag of shame. I'm not ashamed. I'm a busy gal, and I'd rather spend my time actually stitching instead of fully finishing things. But I need to start figuring it out. I really do need to start finishing things, because I have all these... I have, There are, are a lot of finished pieces in there, and it would be nice to have them actually displayed instead of sitting in a bag. So I am going to work on that. Um... I was like, what can I possibly do? I've had strategies and clearly they haven't worked. So my newest strategy is I've decided that one day a month, just one, I will sacrifice my morning when my kids are at school to fully finishing stuff. I don't expect to get like obviously a ton done that way. That's not really sufficient amount of time, but I think it's the most realistic I can offer myself right now. We'll see how it goes. Obviously, I'd rather do like every other week, so twice a month. But again, I have a lot of other things going on, a lot of other things that matter. So I think once a month is the most realistic expectation I can have right now. And I figure we'll set the bar low, and if I can do better, great. But I really do need to get things fully finished. I just, it would be, like I said, I want them on display. I want it to look like I'm an actual stitcher in my house. Like, and it would just be nice to have them displayed. So I'm going to work on it. I really am. Um, I need to probably work on buying some more frames and whatnot too. But one baby step at a time, right? Because, yeah. Like I said, set that bar low. So that's it. That's a whole whip parade. And also me talking about plans and what I managed to do and what I didn't all in like under 20 minutes. And it'll be a lot under 20 minutes by the time I edit this. So yeah, enjoy a quick video. Um, I hope you're all doing well. And I think that's all. Obviously, you know, if you happen to like my content, please do subscribe. That's awesome. I'm hoping to eventually get back to 500 subscribers someday. I'm inching there, you know. Uh, I think most people actually have subscribed for the twirly dress videos. So I will be twirling in this one in a bit, but I have to like put on a 
it's not a flattering dress and I gotta like put on a belt so it looks a little bit better. It's just very shapeless. I'm not, I bought it just looking at it thinking, oh flowers, long sleeves, it's cute, it's kind of cottage y and it's not like, and it's just not a great dress. So, all right. Bye.